Sporting ability is probably the last thing you'd expect from elderly care home residents. But now a Norwegian startup, Mototech, is encouraging thousands of residents aged between 50 to over 90 to train vigorously for a world cycling title from the comfort of their own care homes. This story by Amelia Hill appeared in the Saturday edition of The Guardian. It's a substantial article with a nice media backlink to Mototech's website. If you want media coverage and backlinks for your business, there are real lessons you can take from this story. Get the timing right. The timing for this was spot on, and for at least three reasons. It's a great story for the weekend edition, an interesting read that could lead to a discussion around the breakfast table. It's timely because with COVID, care home residents are in the news. And it's published on the same weekend as the London Marathon. Focus on an important issue. Rather than talk about the company, Motitech talks about the problems they solve. Immobility is a serious issue among care home residents. In just one week, immobile older people can lose 10 to 12% of their muscle mass. The best way to slow the loss is resistance training. Take a creative leap. Mototech created a great product to address an important problem. But the big creative leap was to add a formal annual championship, Road World for Seniors. And it was that championship that communicated the excitement of their products to their target market. The residents, their families, and staff in the care homes. Let your customers speak. The founder of Mototech gives some great quotes in the article, but he doesn't dominate. He lets his customers do the talking. The cycling competition certainly motivated residents. Here's what some had to say. Bill Ireland, OBE a former fighter pilot. I love the competitive nature of it. I also love the discipline. Gwyneth Nisbet, who hasn't walked for two years. Over the past few months, the 81-year-old has cycled hundreds of miles. And here's what staff had to say. Georgina Cliff, a fitness instructor, the memories it triggers help staff to get to know residents as interesting individual people. Ida Nielsen, head of activity, may cycle through Norway last week. So to make it fun, we had Norwegian waffles and Norwegian cheese. Mototech did a great job of getting their messages delivered through the words of their customers. Let the story unfold. John, the founder of Mototech, gives some great quotes, then stepped back and let the story unfold. This is super clever and doesn't happen by accident. He let the journalists have access to people who could speak firsthand. I love the way the overall story is told through people's experiences. Only a brief mention of the entrepreneur, but lots of powerful individual stories. Indeed, one of the stories kicks off the article. Create something worth linking to. Media backlinks are difficult to get. Of course, you need a good PR story to stand a chance, but that on its own is not enough. You need to create something that is worth linking to. Moditech created the Road World Competition, and yes, that was a great PR story. 
but they also created a dedicated page on this site that was attractive and had lots of good images and video. It showed the story in a tangible way. That competition page attracted the media backlink from The Guardian, not the home page. And according to the link mapping tool Majestic, that page has attracted backlinks from some very influential websites. Apply these six lessons to your website, and who knows, we could be talking about your success in a future issue.